In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the graphical representation of uh, a linear regression model. And this was the linear regression model that I showed you in the previous uh, video. This is a simple linear regression model because it is showing us relationship only between these uh, two variables, x and y. Later on, we, we are going to extend this model to include other x variables in the model. In that case, it will be called a multiple linear regression model. But here we are dealing with a simple linear regression model. So essentially the question is, what is the relationship between x and y? And what we hope to achieve is whether this x variable is uh, causing this variable y. And I gave you example of uh, wage and education in the previous video. So these are the two parameters that we are interested in. This bit of one parameter, it will show us the impact of x on y. Actually, it's going to show us uh, two things. It's going to show us the direction of the relationship between x and y and the magnitude of the relationship between x and y. We are going to explore these uh, parameters in much more detail for the rest of the course. Another parameter that we may be interested in will be uh, this beta zero parameter or intercept parameter. And I'm going to show you both these parameters in a simple linear regression modeling framework. I'm going to show both of these parameters on a graph. So the first thing we need to know is uh, what will be the value of uh, this uh, equation if x is zero. If x is zero, the value of y will be equal to beta zero. This is why we call this parameter as an intercept. Intercept. This is beta zero. The second is if we take the derivative of this whole equation, we want to know what is the change in y if x changes by one unit beta. One. This is why this is called slow parameter. This is slow parameter. Okay, so I'm going to show you both of these parameters on this graph. So let's assume this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis and we want to explore the relationship between x and y. In our example of wage and uh, education, this is education and this is wage level. So we may have data about like different individuals with different levels of education and different wage levels. If we plot those data points, we may get something like this. And what linear regression model does, it draw a line in between these points to show the relationship between uh, X and Y. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to draw this line. But here we are interested only in these beta parameters. What is the value of Y when X is zero? That value is right here. So this point, this is called the intercept. Here the value of uh, x is zero. When x is zero, the value of uh, y is beta zero. The next point is if x changes by one unit. So this is a change in x by one unit. For example, in the wage example, the wage could change from say 10 years to 11 years. So if, if we move from this point to this point, what is the impact on uh, this y variable? So what is the impact on y? We know y is going to change by this much. So this will be the change in y. So delta y. That is the change in y because of uh, delta x f if x changes by one unit. And uh, how much is this change? This slope will show us what is this change. So that is why this is called a slope parameter. This beta 1 parameter, it will show us the change in y, which will be caused by one unit change in x. Once we draw this line, we'll have these beta parameters. And in the next lecture, I'll talk about how to draw this line because you can draw this line like anywhere. But we'll see that there is a particular way of drawing this line that I will talk about in the next video. But for now, after we'll have uh, uh, this line, we'll have uh, the values of these beta 0 and uh, beta 1. Okay, so after we have that, we can get the fitted values of, uh, of this y variable by plugging in uh, those x variables. For example, we may have beta 0 is 1.01 .01 and uh, beta 1 is 2. Then we can keep on plugging the value of x variable. Say this is uh, the value of x is x1 
and we can get a fitted value y1. Similarly, we can get another value y2. This hat means it is a fitted value as opposed to this original value. I'm going to keep plugging these x2 values to get these fitted values. Okay, for example, if you look here, uh, the very first value, so we're going to plug we're going to plug uh, our first x value here. We plug our x1 value, say it was uh, four years of uh, education. And our fitted value in this case is right on the line. Remember, we are fitting uh, on this line. So this is our fitted value. This is our y hat 1. But see, what was the original value? The original value was right here. This was the original value. But we predicted that y1 going to be this. So we under predicted the value. So there is kind of an error in our prediction. So let's call this error u hat 1. This is the u that we are measuring. Okay, let's talk about the second value. So second value, we predicted that y2 is going to be here. And but what was the original value? y2 was here. And our prediction of y2 is right here. What is this difference? This difference is y1. So we can keep doing this and get as many errors as uh, uh, the number of observations. So we can get all these y hats should not be here y based on these fitted values we know it's going to be the difference between the original values minus our fitted equation. And we know our fitted equation was uh, y minus beta 0. And we know it is predicted plus beta 1 hat. So this is how we can measure uh, these values. So now we need to check the assumptions that I described in the previous lecture about this u. I said expected value of u is 0. What this means is sometimes we may be over predicting, sometimes we may be under predicting, but on average we'll be predicting correctly. In the case of our example of education and wage, on average if we have years of education we can predict the salary of that individual. We may be sometimes over predicting the salaries, sometimes under predicting the wages. But on average, we will be predicting correctly. So this is how you present a simple linear regression model on a graph. Essentially, we cannot represent uh, more than uh, two variables on a graph. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to find uh, the best line because obviously you, you can draw different lines. We're going to talk about the principles of least squares and uh, based on the principles of least squares, we'll talk about uh, the method of ordinary least squares to estimate uh, these beta parameters. Right, so we'll talk about the principles of least square in the next video. We're going to keep talking about these beta parameters for the rest of the course. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.